Oi, boys, welcome, welcome to another episode in our Rugby League Life 4 multi-year career mode playthrough here with the Bunnies in year one. We are back with some regular season action. It's around 20 and it is a simulation round. As you can see, we do pick up the dub 26 points to 24 against the Cronulla Sharks, but we have had a bit of a road bump with Cody Walker being ruled out for three weeks which sucks because he has been the form 5 8th of the regular season but fear not boys as we all know the veteran Benji Marshall will fill in as always shout out to the gang if you're watching this right now be sure to hit up that comment section with a hash tag odd squad and since we are on a bit of a roll once again looking for our fifth win in a row go ahead and light up the comment section with some flame emojis but yeah boys i know cody walker for roughly the next three weeks and honestly i'm not really worried about it because old man benji still has a lot of gas left in the tank he was killing it through the origin period although we were one from three and had a depleted side it'll be interesting to see how we go or how benji goes with our full strength team uh at his disposal pretty much So no Chef Walker this week. We got a suitable, more than suitable replacement in Benji Marshall. Hopefully old man Benji can serve up some meat pies for the boys. Mainly on this left edge with uh, Campbell Graham and the sauce Josh Mansour. As Tom Burgess looks to take it to the line driven backwards. A trash run. With two to go, we spread it out to Marshall. Finds a bit of space. Throws the dummy a late dive by Nickel Klukstad. Actually, it's Klukstad. Chance Nickel Klukstad. For those that didn't catch that little, um, that little Twitter clip that was floating around last week, I believe, of Chance Nickel Klukstad and Josh Papali'i, pretty much uh, telling everyone how to pronounce their name properly. For me, I knew it was Josh Papali'i, but I always say Papali'i or Papali. As uh, Junior Totola down this left edge, looking for. A one-on-one -on -one bump, but he gets wrapped up on the first tackle. And old man Benji wrapped up five meters out. Fourth, we spread it. Use Latrell as a decoy, and we eventually find Dane Gagai on the right edge, who will slice through untouched. Just simple, a little bit of hot potato passing. Nothing doing, the last pass being a draw and pass. That's what set Gagai up. One thing I'm really enjoyed recently is running more often with Damien Cook who's super quick at a dummy half as we take the tap with Cook he'll take the tackle 30 out arrow running onto it bumps off one I was thinking offload but we hold on to it we need a sensible thing here as Tom Burgess gets in the way now we take the tackle on halfway Marshall looking to send it flat Graham straight through the line Unable to break away from the defense though. Surprised that he actually got run down. Back to Marshall. He goes out the back. Cam Murray. Finding a bit of space in the middle. Fourth. Reynolds calls for it. Kind of go against the grain. Against the play. And it will work out for us as Dan Gagai finds space. Once again an early double for Gags. We barely score on the side it's a little refreshing honestly i think i'm just so used to the left side plays so much so that we have neglected the right side half time half time we have dominated the raiders in the first half we'll take a look at these um these half time match stats they should be interesting we've had all the ball pretty much as you can see give or take 70 to 30 percent that's crazy and we'll be starting our set inside our 10 benji feeding it to jacob host Hardly any meters made on that one. But Mark Nichols, speaking of meters made, will make a few through the middle. Second. We go to Knight. Cops a bit of a hit. From uh, these Raiders who have been lousy in defense so far. If we can hold them to zero. That'll be the perfect game as Benji sends it to the corner looking for a 40 20 and it's a perfect bounce the perfect kick and wet weather footy as we send it back to Kolo Matangi he wears a big hit running onto it Mark Nichols on the receiving end of yet another big hit that is three hits back to back to back from the Raiders looking to inspire their team 
I'm so we're still in a good position here. As Benji drops in behind the line. And a beautiful flat ball. What a way to respond after getting absolutely hammered in the previous tackle. Mark Nichols on the receiving end of a Benji Marshall assist. Chef Benji in the building serving him up. Reynolds to make it 18 to zip. And it's a beauty from right in front as you'd expect. I mean, has there been a more dominant game? Actually, maybe... Back in round four, we did defeat the Roosters, 24 points to nil. If we can add on to that, Reynolds off the mark, centimeters in that one. Raiders finally get some decent ball. That's crazy because this is on legend and the Raiders are playing like hot garbage right now. Hot garbage as Corey Hadawida Naida gets wrapped up just beyond the 20. Speaking of the Raiders, in real life, they're actually going pretty well. That, um, their center filling in for Croker, that dude is a gun. I think it's Sebastian Chris as we give the Raiders a bit of a dose of their own medicine. Latrell Mitchell with the big hit. They try outside in. George Williams. But well, we turn him over. The ref was right there, but he'll send it up for the review. Bunker nothing in it as you can see we do flip him on his back probably won't see much of our defense in this match or in this video but this set of course as we defend our line jacob host on that kick like white on right inside the final 10 damien cook takes the tackle we might send it downfield as we do through cameron murray we don't even care who's kicking as long as they get it down there. And Nickel Klukstar will take it into touch. We'll get the feed. Murray to Mitchell. All right, I tried hitting Graham, but it went to Marshall and Croker was all over that. Short side, there are numbers. Host takes the tackle just outside the 30. Marshall. Short, beautiful ball, Burgess into some space. We're going to send it back down to the short side. Benji drawing past Jacob Host. As we work our way back down the right side, see if we can find some more success here. We do not. Fifth and last, Marshall, first receiver. Fed by Reynolds, and we take the one pointer. A perfect way to end the game, 19 points to zero. And that is the match boys, full time, full time. No Cody Walker, no worries as we keep the streak alive. That is five wins in a row on our run to the finals. I mean, we've got four more rounds left of the regular season. If we can keep this momentum up and keep winning, that minor premiership should be ours. But as always, if you enjoyed that and would like to see more Rugby League Life 4 content, or more content in general, be sure to run straight at that like button. Subscribe to the channel if you're new. Thank you for tuning in, and I'll see you. You, you, you. Later. That's how it is, how it is. Even if I'm on my own, I hold it down for the zip. That's how it is. That's how it is, how it is. From the zoo back to the bridge. All the way up to the cliff. They know the name. Yeah, they know the name.